with this first one. We are going to label the short side X. Well, you've got to look at this, and it's not drawn to scale. You have to look at it and decide what's your short leg. Well, you go to the smallest angle, which is 30 degrees, and the side opposite that would be your short leg. So this actually would be X. Now your long leg is the leg that's opposite the 60 degree angle. So we're going to label that with its pattern, okay? The pattern is you take X and you multiply it by the square root of 3. So I'm going to take X and I'm going to actually reverse that order and put X square root 3 as my longer leg. And then the hypotenuse is always opposite, obviously the right angle. And that is going to be, the rule is 2 times x, or 2x. Okay, and that is our general rule, and it works for every 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Now I'm going to show you how to use those given each one of the scenarios. If you're given a short leg, what do you do? If you're given a long leg, what do you do? And if you're given the hypotenuse, what do you do? Okay, so let's start with this first one. Okay, I'm going to leave the rules up there for a minute, and I'm going to draw this triangle that we have. Here's 60 up here. Now notice we've turned the triangle, so you have to be careful. Okay, this one we're given the short leg, and how do we know we're given the short leg? It's not because it's drawn shorter, it's because it's opposite the 30 degree angle, so we know that's your short leg. Okay, we're going to label that just X, just like the rule says, to label it as X. So label the short leg equal to X. Now label the long leg. Okay, the long leg is this leg over here, and remember it's X root 3. Okay, so we're going to take X root 3, and since we know X is 7, we're just going to plug in a 7 right there. So 7 square root 3, so that is the length of the long leg, 7 square root 3. Now the hypotenuse is 2x. Again, we know x is 7, so we're just going to plug a 7 in there. 2 times 7, so the hypotenuse is 14. Okay? So that's how you find each of the sides, and this is the easiest way. If you have the short leg, you're just multiplying by the square root of 3 to get the long leg and you're multiplying by 2 to get the hypotenuse. Okay, so the short leg is the important leg. If you have the short leg, you can easily find the long leg and the hypotenuse because you're always getting bigger. Okay, so let's look at the second scenario. I think this one is the hardest of the three. Okay, we have a 60 degree angle up here again. We have our 30 over here and we have this side is given as 4 square root 3. Okay, so this scenario we're given the long leg because it's opposite the 60 degree angle. And we're going to label the long leg equal to x root 3. So every time you have the long leg you're just going to set it equal to x root 3. And then solve for x. Well, we're going to have to divide by the square root of 3 to get the x by itself. So let's divide both sides. So we're setting up like a little simple equation. Let's cancel that out. So x is equal to 4. So if x is 4, remember that is the short leg. So x is 4, so that means the short leg is 4. And we're going to label the hypotenuse 2x. So again, we just plug an x in here. So 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, and you're always going to work from the short or the long leg back to the short leg first. Because remember, the short leg we can figure out the other two sides. So if you have the long leg, work to the short leg and then double it to get the hypotenuse. Okay, so now let's look at the third scenario. What if we're given the hypotenuse? Okay, so let's draw this one. Here's our right angle, here's our 30 degree angle. Here's our 60 degree angle. Now let's look at this one carefully. Where is the short leg? Well, here's the small angle, so that's the short leg. So this one's X. And here's your 60 degree angle, so that's your long leg, and that's X root 3. Okay, so now we know the hypotenuse is equal to 2X. 
So let's take 46 and set it equal to 2x. When we set that equal to 2x, we're just going to solve for x by dividing by 2. And so x is 23. So you can just, as you get comfortable with it, you can just take half of the hypotenuse. Okay, so that means short leg is 23. Now take x, being 23, and plug it in here. So we're going to take 23 and plug it in for x, and so we get 23 squared 3. So that's the long leg. So if the hypotenuse is 46, the short leg is 23, and the long leg is 23 times the square root of 3. So that's the general pattern given each of the three sides. Now let's flip over to the second page and let's try some practice problems. Okay? Now you can you use your notes and your pattern to help you here. Let's draw this first one. Okay, we have a 30 degree angle here. We have 12 here. 60 and then we're looking for A and B. Okay, so let's analyze first. What are we given? Are we given a long leg, a short leg, or the hypotenuse? Here's the 30 degree angle, so we're given the short leg. So this is x, this is going to be x square root 3, and this is going to be 2x. Okay, so now let's plug in. Since we're given the short, the short leg, it's easy. We're just going to plug in an x here. So a is equal to 12 square root 3. We just multiply 12 times the square root of 3, and you can't simplify that, so there you go. And then plug in 12 here, 2 times 12, so b is equal to 24. So that's the hypotenuse. So that's the easy direction. Given the short leg, multiply by the square root of 3 to get the long leg, and multiply by 2 or double it to get the hypotenuse. Now let's look at one that may be a little trickier the second practice problem. Okay, this time we're given a leg of 15. We don't know this side and we don't know the hypotenuse. Okay, now in general we wouldn't be able to use the Pythagorean theorem because you got to know two sides to be able to solve the Pythagorean theorem. But remember a 30, 60, 90 is a special right triangle that always has these patterns. Okay, so on this one we have to say, okay, here's our 30 degree angle, so that means this is our short leg, so we're going to call this one x, okay? This one is our long leg, we're given the long leg, and that's x square root 3, and, and here's our hypotenuse, so we're going to label that 2x. So I'm going to set 15 equal to x square root 3, and I'm going to have to solve for, this, for x. So I'm going to divide both sides by the square root of 3. Now notice that doesn't simplify like the one we did earlier did. So we're going to have to rationalize this one. 15 divided by the square root of 3 times root 3 over root 3 and I get 15 square root 3 over square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is square root of 9, square root of 9 is 3. Okay, so I have 15 root 3 over 3, but I can simplify that because 15 and 3 are both outside the radical, so they simplify to a 5 square root 3. There you go. So that means my x value is 5 square root 3. So my short leg is 5 square root 3. So a is 5, root, five square root 3. Now I'm going to take that value for x and I'm going to plug it in here to find my hypotenuse. So take 2 times x and x is 5 root 3 and I take 2 times 5 because they're outside the radical, so I get 10 square root 3. And that is my hypotenuse. So that one was definitely a little bit more involved because we had to rationalize the denominator. And I think that's the hardest of the three methods.